Hey everybody, just a little quick uh, tidbit here. Just wanted to share with you briefly. The title of this applet is, is called Angular to Linear Without Words. Uh, far too often students struggle when it uh, comes to working with some kind of angular uh, motion and then some kind of linear motion and seeing how the two are related. For example, the wheels of your tire are spinning at maybe uh, 20 revolutions per second. How fast are you moving in miles per hour? I like to give students a question like that, have them wrestle with it, and just play around just to see what they can come up with. Um, it's easy converting seconds to hours, but then the key link is, well shoot, how do I actually convert revolutions, right, a unit of uh, angular motion here, or uh, say an angular velocity, to a linear velocity? Right, and that's where students often struggle. And so I designed this app, this wordless applet here, uh, to help students uh, conceptualize and see for themselves uh, how to answer that question. So you can make the tire as big or as small as you want, but regardless, you spin that tire. This moving the slider will spin that tire once, and hopefully students will be able to tell me that hey, when the when the wheels of my tire spin once, I actually move forward a distance equal to the circumference of that uh, of that tire. So obviously a smaller tire, you know, when the wheel spins once, you will not move as far of a distance because a smaller tire has a smaller diameter, which in turn has a smaller circumference, right? But you make the tire bigger, then when the wheel spins once, you move forward a, a greater distance. So students need to make that connection. That's the connecting link there between angular uh, velocity to linear velocity. How far of a distance do you go forward after the wheels of the tires of your vehicle spin one revolution? Well, you move forward equal a distance to the circumference of the circle. And so I like to have kids discover without words um, that principle and use that principle further within the problem solving process. So yeah, little tidbit. So thanks for watching.